You don't know. Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, welcome to my channel, and I'm going to show you guys how I did some beautiful curls with some African hair threading sides. And I'm trying to do more African hair threading videos, so stay tuned for that in the future. But I blow dried my hair, and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim it. This video is actually from October, so that's when I trimmed my hair. And that's just to prep my hair for curls, make more beautiful, voluminous curls. And this is what my blown out hair looks like. I'm not sure if I want to cut it in the future or just keep it like this. Go ahead and part your hair on the side of your head. Go back about three, three and a half inches and do the same one inch below. And make sure that your parts are as straight as possible. That's something that I've been working on. And this is what the section is looking like. So what you're going to do is go ahead and make a square. Go in about one inch and you're going to make a square that looks like it's one by one inches. And grab some Gorilla Snot to help just control your hair at the roots. You can use a pomade, an oil or anything that you like to use because Gorilla Snot can be a little bit tacky. Wrap about one inch of your hair with thread. I do have an African hair threading tutorial so definitely check that out so you know exactly what you're doing. And just take your time, make it nice and neat, small sections. And this is how much you're going to wrap with the thread. Now we're going to work on the second section and make another square about one by one inches and pin the rest of your hair out of the way. Apply Gorilla Snot so it can be neat and you're also going to part this section down the middle so that way you can put the first section through it and you're just basically feeding the braid and wrap around it with thread. Again, you're also going to wrap this one about one inch down and once you're done, you're going to grab the third section, apply some more Gorilla Snot, again use something else, maybe a pomade or something because Gorilla Snot is really tacky when you're removing it and split it in two and put the first two sections through it and go ahead and put the sections out of the way so you can wrap this third section in thread and you're going to wrap it all the way down to the bottom. Again, I do have an African hair threading tutorial. Then you're going to repeat the entire process with three more sections. And I'm using my Caraveda creme brulee to curl my natural hair and I'm also using Spoolie's hair curlers the jumbo size. Just get a small amount of creme brulee and massage it through your hair from the roots to the ends. Then wrap the hair around the spoolie so you can make spiral curls and just add a little tension as you wrap to make sure it's smooth as you wrap. Then you're going to close the roller and secure your ends. This is how much I'm using for each section and the Caraveda Creme Brulee is very moisturizing especially for winter and we're going to go ahead and wrap our hair around the spoolie and when you choose the size of hair that you use remember that if the hair is too thick it will pop out so what you're going to do is close the spoolie and that will secure your hair. I allowed my hair to dry overnight and this is what it's looking like and we're going to just remove the spoolies, just pop them open and unravel. It's very easy and if your hair is fully dry they will come out easily. If your hair is still wet they will snag. That's one thing I learned and this is what it's looking like. I am loving these curls. We're going to separate our hair and I usually separate down the middle then separate the two sections that I just made and just make sure your hair is nice and fluffy and take your time separating it. If you have to use some oil on your fingertips go ahead and do that so you don't make fuzzy curls. Next grab the two tails of your African hair threading sections and bring them down the middle of your hair. 
then go ahead and pin them down with the bobby pins. This is what the hair is looking like when it's just loose curls. But we're gonna put our hair up with a scalloped beret from Montana Silversmiths. So we can just add a little bit of flair and pull two sections from either side to the middle of your hair in the back and go ahead and twist the hair together just a little bit and put the beret there to pin it down and just snap it closed and that's it thanks for joining me everyone and if you haven't already please subscribe comment share and definitely follow me on instagram where i have all my pictures i'll talk to you in the next one bye